Ah, uh, and we got there. Take that, Thanos players. What's up, noobs? I'm Greer. This is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. Hey, look who's back from his monthly hibernation. The people who have been subscribed for a long time already know, but to the new subscribers, once a month, uh, I go through a pretty rough time with my mental health issues and I'm unable to make videos. So I apologize about that. But hey, let's uh, let's just get into this video, huh? I got the new card, Hope Summers. After you play a card here, you get plus one energy next turn. I ended up rolling Pixie on reveal, shuffle the cost of all ca uh, cards in your deck that started there. Uh, I was lucky enough to get her on roll two. I saw Dexter playing this deck the other day and it looked all right. It looks fairly decent. Uh, so let's go through the deck really quick. We have Wasp in here. Um, she does negative one power to the opposite side of the deck because we are running a high Evo deck. Plus, if you if she's still in your deck and you uh, hit Pixie, then you can get like a big card that costs zero. We have Sunspot in here after each turn, getting plus one power for each unspent energy. And in this list, you're going to be floating a decent amount of energy. So Sunspot's pretty pretty good we're running misty knight she gives plus one to a random card on your board if you float an energy that turn and like i said we're floating a lot of energy so pretty good synergy so the new card pixie on reveal shuffle the cost of all cards in your deck that started there so i mean sometimes she has some good hits sometimes she whiffs and it seemed like every time i played her people were just playing mobius right after anyway and it was really frustrating so i didn't get a whole lot of use out of pixie honestly i tried my best but we are running our own mobius because uh, ongoing your cards can't be increased your opponent's cards can't be reduced so if you play your pixie then you play your mobius your card costs should be protected we are running cyclops and he does negative two damage to random cards on the enemy side of the board if you skip energy that turn so yeah you can pop him down on four and then you know skip and he goes pew pew to the other side we're running hope summers after you play a card here you can get plus one energy next turn so that's pretty dope you play hope summers you can play cyclops on that lane you get the extra energy for next turn and then you probably are able to play something else that's cool plus you get the uh the negative power effects from your cyclops we're running high evo obviously to unlock the secret abilities of all your cards like the thing um if you float energy that turn he does negative three damage to three different cards well he hits each card once so if they only have one thing he only does negative one but they have three he he'll hit for negative three and all that negative power is good because we're running abomination um and his secret ability is that for all the negative power on the enemy side uh he gets cheaper so you can get him down to zero a lot of the time plus if he gets hit with something by pixie it's even easier to get him um to get him down in cost so we have she hulk in here cost one less for each unspent energy last turn like i said we are floating a lot of energy plus um the energy you get from hope summers can be um not banked but like you know let's say you only float a couple energy plus you get that extra energy for hope summers you'd be able to play a she hulk where normally you wouldn't be able to and of course we're running the hulk and uh, he's ongoing plus two power for each unspent energy that turn, whether he's in hand or in play. That's pretty much the deck. I'm sorry if that wasn't the best explanation of the deck this time, but I am losing my voice. So, hey, if uh, if you're new here, why don't you hit that su subscribe button for a guy, huh? It's just a click for you. It means the world to me. God, it feels like I've been hit by a truck. Let's get into the games. Behold my creations. Okay, let's go with Misty Knight. Great, snapping on one. Fantastic. Okay, I think we followed it up with Pixie here. Of 
Quantum Realm is not great. Neither is Jotunheim. I guess we just forfeit the ex like the two power so we can zap. I need to get like Sunspot or something. Hey, speak of the devil. That is one expensive Sunspot, I'll tell you that. But these locations, holy. Bro, are you kidding me? Okay. Do I even A-bomb here? I mean, I kind of need to A-bomb Hulk. Yeah, I think I A-bomb. I'm so sick of Thanos, man. I was hoping I was going to come back this season and Thanos would just be a memory. And no, sir. Like, I guess we can go Hulk, She-Hulk? Or is that overkill? I think I need more mid. I think it has to be this. No, wait. I think it has to be this. But this might not be enough either. All right, let's see it. Oh, and we got there. Take that, Thanos players. Okay, let's chill. Finally have Pixie and Mobius in hand at the same time. So let's go for Pixie. <clears throat> We're gonna go with Mobius. Because every time I've tried to play Pixie today, they always follow it up with their Mobius and it's driving me nuts. Um, maybe we go with Cyclops mid. Now I could go Sunspot Abomination, still get the Pew Pew over here. This means they can't just Shang-Chi my She-Hulk. Is unfortunate, huh? Do we think they have Odin? Because I mean, Hulk might win here, but that's pretty much it. But if I go She Hulk Wasp, maybe? Maybe they don't have Odin and we just go like this. Alright, let's see it. That is extremely unfortunate. <laughs> and 
and it didn't matter. We got it anyway. Victory. Hey, I'll take that, man. Okay, so we go Sunspot. I guess we chill. Like, I really want to use Pixie, you know? I'm going to do it. Even though it's probably better to just play Cyclops here. But I want to use the new card, man. play out Cyclops to get some negative power going. Wow, the perfect card for that to hit. Like, they're going to be sending everything. So... We have to forfeit mid, right? And play for these two. The Vulture and Dagger mid is a problem. I mean... It's always Heimdall, right? Is the Hulk enough? Whatever, let's see it. Yes, the Hulk is enough. Let's go. My creations. That's kind of lame. Yeah, we can just play that Misty Knight. Do I play out Cyclops? Or do I... Because I'm, I'm probably... F I could float on four. I guess it doesn't matter because I don't have the Hulk, so Shield's probably going to be my last turn anyway. So maybe we do go Cyclops. Hit him with the thing. It's time. <laughs> and play out a bomb where here maybe and then we play Hulk in whichever lane we need her in
they're gonna move they're probably gonna move this guy right so maybe we just play it over here and then hope Cyclops finishes the job All right, well, a win's a win. Victory. Behold my creations. I mean, I wish I'd stop getting my big stuff in hand first and I could get like Pixie. Guess we chill. Now, do we play Hope? Maybe we go for like Hope Cyclops. Although I do want to play Pixie. I can go Pixie Sunspot. They, I mean, they already used Killmonger. Feels like a bot anyway. Now we can just, I mean, we can toss down pretty much anything. Um, maybe I don't want to go Shang-Chi or like, you know, in Shang-Chi range with uh, Hulk yet. So we just play Cyclops. Oh, I mean, Abomination. And we chill. Or I could go Cyclops now and just float for the Sunspot energy. Maybe that's better. I am Iron Man. <laughs> and then we go Hulk Wasp, since this is for sure a bot game. <laughs> Easy clap. My creations. Okay, we chill. We have Pixie on too, which is cool. So far, I haven't gotten any uh, use out of her, so we probably want to play big stuff mid, right? for the Crown City, so we just play her over here. Okay. <laughs> I guess we go uh, Cyclops here. I don't like that. That could mean Galactus. So we play the Hulk over here. I hope it's not Galactus. Well, we hope it's not Galactus over here. No, they have Pryo no matter what. Well, this is Boo. I 
Magneto. Um, I could go Hope Summer's Abomination here. Because they're probably going to Shang-Chi me. So I just got to make sure I got some goodies over here and here. Waving out a Magneto? Why? Okay. I mean, this is the best I can do, right? Hope for no Shang-Chi or, or Jeff. And they retreated. All right. Okay, so while making this video today, we went 12 and six, which is a 66.7% win rate with a plus 13 cubes. I know that might be off a little bit because I'm um, still getting bot games. I literally just started playing the game again today. So uh, yeah, a bit late to the party, but it's still not a bad win rate. Um, I did find it very difficult to get use out of Pixie. And every, it seemed like every time I played her, other people were just playing Mobius. And that was really frustrating. I found Hope Summer's a lot better because the plus one energy, especially in this list, matters. But hey, don't take my word for it. Try the deck out for yourself. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. If you like this video, why don't you click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And anyway, GG.